हेलो डियर लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी द्विवेदी योर कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इंक्लूसिव एजुकेशन द इंक्लूसिव एजुकेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन द फॉलोइंग प्रिंसिपल्स टीच ऑल स्टूडेंट्स एक्सप्लोर मल्टीपल आइडेंटिटीज चूज अप्रोप्रिएट मटीरियल अडेप्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन promoting social justice and preventing prejudices now we will discuss one by one in detail the first principle of inclusive education is teaching all students in the class according to their needs and requirements for this teachers should opt very teaching styles and deliver the instruction in a variety of ways A student in the class may learn best when the information is delivered visually. Other student may learn best through hearing, while few students learn better through group activities. This teaching the content using different approaches will make the lesson more interesting and tangible to the large number of students. The teacher should also discuss with other teachers how they have taught a particular topic and if that method is found suitable for a student with special needs he can also use it in his classroom for the students with similar educational needs teachers should also seek ideas and suggestions from their colleagues to improve their teachings students should feel comfortable in the class for that they should be encouraged to ask for more information seek clarification or anything which fetch them in active learning teachers should be considerate of their differences and help students reflect on their individuality a sense of belongingness in the learning community should be cultivated in them explore multiple identities building confidence and affirming identity for students support learning Students who are inquisitive about the world around them have better understanding of people who are different from them. To encourage this, teachers should create activities that help students to talk about their unique experiences with pride. The teacher should also encourage all aspect of each student's individuality. Let them know it's okay to be different. teachers should maintain a respectful environment among students and help and encourage them to use respectful language and behavior with each other choose appropriate material instructional materials which teachers choose to teach should be appropriate for the age of the learners their emotional and social development and ability level of the students instructional material should be diverse with respect to levels of difficulty learner appeal and should present a variety of point of view of the content being taught the primary criteria that teachers usually adopt when selecting instructional material are the accuracy and visual appeal alignment to standards and depth of knowledge ease of use and support and engagement and ability to meet students needs adapt instruction the next principle is the adapt instruction adapting instruction refers to adjusting or make changes to curriculum activities instructional material assessments teaching methods or learning environment to accommodate a student's needs so that he can participate in successfully and achieve the teaching learning goals at the highest when we talk for altering instructional arrangement it should be understood that groups of the same size or abilities don't always work for all students so we have to keep an eye on what types of arrangement different learner respond to the best for example an autistic learner may not be comfortable working in a large group of 4 or 
then let him work in a group of 2 or 3 when most of his classmates are working in a group of 4 or 5 altering material and methods of delivery offer learners many different ways to engage with and absorb the content teachers should provide students with differentiated learning material based on their level of learning and interest instead of preparing students to fit in a single teaching style a blend of various instructional method and strategies should be opted in to suit the individual students need altering curriculum and activities is also a significant adaptation for some learners we modify or reduce the requirements of curriculum and learning activities and provide multiple means of action and expression simultaneously for example in an essay assignment instead of uh, writing an essay student can be said to demonstrate his understanding of the content by drawing a concept map developing a presentation or creating an outline etc some learners need extra support with some task hence they can be uh, supported by their peers or special educators or a para professional they can provide assistance in a variety of ways depending on the learner's needs promoting social justice promoting social justice is the key principle of inclusive education social justice promotes fairness and equity across many aspects of society there are many ways of promoting social justice in the classes such as teachers can give the chances to students to compare the situation of injustice in their social environment they can discuss with their peers in the class which will help in developing empathy and awareness with the community teachers can encourage their students to explore their perspective on issues within and outside their immediate communities and their relationships to the larger world teachers can also encourage their learners to participate in the activities to gain accurate information and also understand the perspective of others the learner should be asked to explore what they think why they think how they think this will lead them to think critically through academic activities students should be encouraged to understand their roles in the society and the contribution that they can make to the society teachers should let students involve in their service learning opportunities for this service activities that address human and community needs are to be integrated into the course for example tutoring disadvantaged children and adults helping the homeless shelters etc can be added this way they will feel empowered to address issues of inequality in their own communities preventing prejudices teachers should address preconceived stereotypes beliefs and biases of the learners they should guide students to understand that inequality is not everybody's fault but it's everyone's responsibility to become aware and to create a fair and equitable learning community teachers should have a dialogue and reflection with students about the misinformation and ill feeling associated with these biases so learners we can see how significant these principles are for inclusive classrooms and inclusive education will achieve its aim only and only if these principles are followed and practiced in its implementation thank you